Get your Bibles, get your Trump Bibles here. The good book is now a great book. It's like the Bible, but better. The Bible's out of date. Would you guys like to get grifted? I'm selling Bibles. They're cautionary parables. There's so much to be learned from Donald Trump's life. This is a passage from the Trump Bible. And Donald Trump said unto his servants, I shall change the path of the hurricane with thy sharpie. Among the listeners was a humble tradesman named Billy Bush. And Donald Trump said unto Billy Bush, when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Grab them by the you can do anything. What's up everybody, Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. And amidst the strange excitement surrounding the typical Trump rally, the Good Liars staged a show that cut through the fanatical devotion to the former president like a sharp knife to hot butter. The ballots were counted and as the results announced, it became clear that Donald Trump had not secured enough votes. That's not a Bible story. No, it's, it is a Bible story. It is, it's in the Trump Bible, see, Trump Bible. Assuming the roles of preachers, they echoed twisted commandments from their satirical Trump Bible, igniting a mix of bewilderment and discomfort in the crowd. Oh, how much are they? Only ten dollars. Oh, uh, ten bucks? Yeah. Yeah, we'll each take one. Here's yeah. another ten. Ooh. These fervent supporters, caught up in the delusions, seemed and eagerly consumed the performance, oblivious to the mockery being made of their idol and themselves. It was a scene that highlighted the absurdity of the situation, exposing the gullibility of some rally goers. But the theatrics of the good liars merely scratched the surface of the deeper issue at hand. As TYT's Michael Schur delved into the psyche of Trump rally goers, his fact-based interviews often revealed a frustrating lack of critical thinking amongst them. He was put in here for a reason. I pray to God every day. I pray every morning and I do thank God for uh... Uh, I, I, I thank God to put his hand on, our, on Donald Trump and, and give him the right directions to lead this country and to be a leader of this, you know, in our country. So I, I believe he is. I believe there he is a gift from God that's trying to save our country. I, I do believe it. Trump was chosen by God. Do you believe that? I truly believe that that was divine intervention in 16. Absolutely. I'm a believer. Without a doubt. If Tom Trump wasn't elected in 2016, this country would be a third world country. We're headed that way now if we don't get it stopped. God don't choose a perfect man. He chooses a man that can do the job. And Trump is the man that can do the job. When asked to elaborate on their support for Donald Trump and whether they believe that he was sent by God, their responses descended into circular arguments that defied logic. It was Donald Trump God's chosen candidate? Yes. Mm -hmm. In what way? It was. Well, first of all, he loves the Lord. I mean, he's been the most the pro, most pro-Christian president that we've had in a long time. He moved the um, embassy to J Jerusalem. I mean, he's just an amazing man, and he loves our Father. He doesn't shy away from prayer. He's not ashamed of prayer, and he's not ashamed to stand up for the Lord and say his name in the Oval Office. So I just I love him. He's just a man, magnificent man, and I pray for him every day. Do you feel like Donald Trump is in some way God's chosen one as a candidate? I do. I think he's been sent from above. The question itself, whether Trump was sent by God, seemed to expose the shallow depths of their reasoning. It became apparent that the average Trump supporter knew about as much about the Bible as Trump himself, a troubling revelation. In their world, God, faith, and patriotism were all stirred together in a confusing cake mix, creating a toxic blend of blind devotion. If you didn't subscribe to their beliefs with the same fervor and intensity, you were deemed not a true Christian or American. The lack of critical thinking amongst these supposed Christians was alarming, and Schur's interviews effectively exposed their blind allegiance to a leader who was the furthest thing from what one might expect from someone that was sent by God. Well, to my knowledge, Jesus, the Messiah, never paid off a porn star to cover up committing adultery while his third wife was pregnant with his fifth child. Nor do I recall Jesus selling a golden calf or golden sneaker that his followers could worship as an icon to him. Jesus certainly wasn't hawking Bibles as part of a never-ending grift. But for the low, low price of $59.99, you can buy the God Bless the USA Bible, the only Bible endorsed by Trump. Because to Donald Trump, a Bible is no more sacred than a Trump board game or Trump water. It's just another cheap tchotchke to sell to his followers, as is faith. It's just another thing to sell to frightened white evangelical Christians to get them to set aside what they know about their faith and vote for Trump anyway, to keep him out of jail. 
Joy Reid's commentary lays bare the stark contrast between Donald Trump's self-proclaimed messiah complex and the reality of his actions. While Trump may compare himself to Jesus, the comparison quickly falls apart under scrutiny. Jesus didn't engage in scandalous affairs or pay off porn stars to cover up his indiscretions. He didn't peddle golden idols or merchandise for profit, unlike Trump with his golden calf like worship and branded products. And let's not forget Trump's audacity in selling his own version of the Bible for a hefty price tag of $59.99. While Jesus warned his disciples about false prophets and wolves in sheep's clothing, Trump shamelessly capitalizes on religion for his own gain. It's a sobering reminder of the twisted logic that permeates Trump's base, a willingness to overlook glaring hypocrisy and immorality in favor of blind loyalty. In their eyes, Trump can do no wrong, no matter how egregious his actions may be. It's a dysfunctional way of thinking that's become all too common among his supporters. What a group of morons. And that is an absolute fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.